The key to success on Instagram is by using 30 hashtags on every post. Yep, that's it. That's everything. You're welcome. My pleasure. You heard that? My pleasure! In all seriousness though, hashtags are a critical part of growing on Instagram and there are so many things to talk about. So in this video, I'm going to unpack everything that you guys need to know in order to use hashtags effectively to grow on Instagram. Before we get into that, my name is Carter and in this channel I make videos about all things Instagram, social media, marketing, stuff like that. So if you're interested in this kind of content or you just want to support me and my videos, then I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Okay, that's all. Let's jump into the video. So to start off, I want to refer back to my cheesy intro where I talked about using 30 hashtags on every post on Instagram. This is very true in and of itself. Instagram gives you 30 hashtags, or at least lets you use 30 hashtags on every single post. Hashtags won't really bring down the quality of your posts, and they're not very spammy, so there's no downside to using something that could potentially give you a lot more exposure on the platform. Think of each hashtag like a lottery ticket. Most of them probably won't be very successful, only bringing a couple of views to your post. However, some may do very well, thus it's a good idea to make sure that you have a big enough sample size to give yourself a chance to get hashtags that may succeed. Building off of this point, it also might be a good idea to rotate or cycle your hashtags because this will let you use even more than 30 hashtags on your account. Obviously, each post is only going to be able to use 30 hashtags. However, if you have four sets, that's a potential like 120 hashtags that you're using on your account. You can then see which sets of hashtags bring you the most success. You can try combining sets and you can try to optimize your hashtags to work best for you. So to summarize, so far what I've said is that you should be using 30 hashtags on every single post that you make and that you should not just have one set of hashtags that you use for all of your posts. You should cycle sets of hashtags to see which ones bring you the most success. Let's talk about how you can find hashtags on Instagram. There are three main ways that I recommend you finding hashtags on Instagram. One is simply thinking of keywords that are related to your topic. This can be kind of hit or miss because you're not really looking into the analytics of that hashtag, but then again you are thinking as if you're like a person looking for that hashtag. So this one can go kind of both ways. I have thought of some hashtags on my own, however the next two methods have proven much more effective for me. Another thing you can do is go on the internet and search for one of the bajillion hashtag SEO tools that basically come up with a bunch of hashtags related to whatever keywords you put into the search engine. I have used this before in the past and it's useful because it shows you which ones have the optimal range of traffic that aren't oversaturated but also have enough volume at the same time. Finally, my favorite thing to do is to look at other successful similar pages on Instagram and see which hashtags they use. Odds are, if they're a successful page, they have already done the optimization for you. So you can basically pick and choose some hashtags from them, and odds are they're going to do pretty well for your own account. Now, I am not saying go out there and copy every hashtag as every other page. Each page is going to be unique and different, and different hashtags are going to work for different people. However, as a general guideline, you want to copy success on Instagram, at least. There's not very much originality on the platform, if we're going to be totally honest, but that's okay. You play with the hand you're dealt, so I recommend looking at competing Instagram pages, or at least ones that are in the similar niche as you, and seeing which hashtags work best for them. Since I'm devoting this entire video to hashtags, I want to take a minute to talk about what it's like on the other end of hashtags. In other words, what it's like to find your post using a hashtag. Looking at hashtags is going to give you two different tabs. One is going to be the top posts under that hashtag, and the other is going to be recent posts. For any hashtags that have decent volume, you're not going to have very much success looking under the recent posts because it's going to be very saturated. You might get a few likes, most of them are probably going to be from bots. However, it's not going to drive you any significant traffic. The key to being successful under saturated hashtags is to be under the top section. Now this seems pretty capped and obvious, but once you understand that you're not going to really do anything under these big hashtags unless if you're in the top section, it might lead you to choose smaller hashtags because that gives it a larger chance that your posts actually get noticed. And plus it's easier to make it to that top section using smaller hashtags. Finally, I want to talk about why do hashtags even matter? Like what's the point of them in the first place? Personally, I like to think of hashtags as sort of like a stepping stone. What I mean by that is there are three really main areas in Instagram where your posts can get noticed. The first is in the feed, and this is by people who already follow you. It's not really useful for growth to be promoting the people who already follow you because, well, they already follow you. If we're going to jump all the way to the other end, however, there's the explore page, which is a large audience of people who do not already follow you. This is the perfect audience to target because it could lead to an increase in followers. However, it is very difficult to get on the explore page, at least at first when creating your Instagram account or trying to grow your followers. 
That is why I like to talk about hashtags as sort of that third stepping stone in between the two. It introduces your content to people who don't already follow you back, but it is not as difficult to get noticed, nor does it have as high of ceiling as the explore page. It is good for intermediate growth on Instagram. And even if you are making it on the explore page, it doesn't hurt to get promoted under hashtags because if you get on the top section of hashtags that have a high saturation, that can be almost just as good as the explore page. In summary, hashtags are critical to sustaining consistent growth on Instagram. In order to be effective, however, you need to actually do some work. Look at the analytics, look at the saturation of your hashtags, what are your competitors using? You have to make sure that every hashtag that you're putting on your post makes sense for your account. And that is all I have for you guys today talking about hashtags. I really hope this video could help you guys out or at least give you a foundation to build off of when trying to decide the hashtags for your Instagram posts. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to falcon punch the like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm discover smaller YouTubers like myself. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one.